All right, and welcome back guys. So we just have a quick little update on the shop. We have this BMW 840i, this is I believe a convertible. It's in the shop because it had a vinyl wrap before on the vehicle. So the vehicle I believe is a leased vehicle. So the customer is actually gonna be returning the vehicle. So we were removing the wrap. This is I believe 3M frozen vanilla guys. And as you guys can see, it was coming off in little pieces. It was quite a, quite a bit of a task. Let me go ahead and show you guys the vinyl material that came off the vehicle. All right guys, so again, this is 3M Satin Frozen Vanilla. I believe it's a 2080, the 2080 line, which is they're kind of more premium with a, it has like a cap sheet and whatnot. But for the most part, the problem with vinyl guys is it actually discolors, it gets sun damage, it gets UV damage, and unfortunately, it, it creates a mess. So after two years, three years, I believe this car is three years old and the lease is up, you have to basically remove all that. So the cost of removing all this vinyl from the vehicle, guys, we charged them $800. So just keep that in mind. I believe we were on the low end of this because he still said that I believe other shops are charging much, much more for that. Just keep that in mind. I believe, you know, guys always wanting to change their colors and stuff like that. This is the downside of wrapping your vehicle. So one thing you do have to keep in mind, when you remove the wrap on vehicles like this, guys, everything needs to come out. You need to take the tail lights, the headlights, the door handles, the side mirrors, pretty much everything off the car. So it, it is a quite a bit of a task. If you're not handy with your tools, this job is really, really not for you. Well, seems like this uh, top is not going down all the way. I wonder if it's this, guys. So this is the last bit of piece that's remaining, guys, is right here where the top meets the pillar. And basically, this has quite a bit of damage, UV damage. And I'll show you guys exactly what that means. Unfortunately, when you have vinyl that's this damaged, it doesn't like to come off all in one piece. So let's see if we're lucky. All right, here we go. So far, so good. Yep. And the problem with a lot of shops is they're not quite, I guess, confident in their installability or their films. And a lot of them use what us installers hate to remove, adhesive promoter, guys, which sucks. Anytime you deal with this adhesive promoter, it just creates a mess for the next person who's working on the car. Now, this customer is returning the vehicle for a lease, so they don't really care. It just sucks for the next person. You know what I mean. So unfortunately it is a time consuming process. You're gonna have to do this and then go over each area with probably adhesive remover because they use adhesive promoter everywhere. And you don't wanna create a gooey, sticky mess for the, neck, for the customer when they pick it up. I learned that very quick. Uh-huh. Otherwise, just sit there like picking pieces. All right, guys, so the vinyl is off, but it leaves quite a bit of adhesive behind, especially where uh, a lot of areas where you have a lot of UV damage, you unfortunately have to go back over it with a adhesive remover. We will probably give it a little wash afterwards too. All the edges, all the corners, you'll notice like black adhesive, like this stuff. And then if you use a nice adhesive remover, like we like to use PNS Solvent X, which is a nice solvent adhesive remover. It works really, really nice for this type of stuff. It's just like, honestly, like 
let's be honest, as long as you tension control, you're good, right?